Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. To all my subscribers, thank you for your continued support. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Um, today I'm going to be doing a bonus reading for Pisces in love, relating to your love connections, especially if you have someone in mind and you want to know what's going on in that connection and their current feelings towards you. And in this reading, let's spice things up. I will also be using additional oracle decks to give us more insights as well as my very own tarot deck, the Nomad Soul Warrior Tarot Limited Edition. So for those of you who haven't um, gotten your own copy yet, uh, they're currently available at my Etsy shop, um, etsy.com. You can search Nomad Soul Warrior and you will see this listing. And this tarot deck comes with a free uh, book, The Divine Time, which is a mystical tale. Uh, but it talks about um, the fool's journey yeah, across major arcana energies, which can be helpful for tarot enthusiasts as well as tarot beginners, yeah, if you want to learn more about tarot readings. yeah. So this deck is um, available now in my Etsy. I'll post the link in the description. Or alternatively, you can also follow me in Instagram at Nomad Soul Warrior. Uh, feel free to message me there, direct message me if you have any questions about the deck. All right, I do have the link in there too to uh, my Etsy shop. All right. Uh, okay, so Pisces, this is your bonus reading. Let's see if this is um, what storyline. Let's see what storyline can we get for you today their current feelings towards pisces this would be for all pisces sun moon rising venus and jupiter okay. pisces in love let's get three cards Right, the bottom of the deck we have sweet honey oh sugar sweet honey tie the knot on the rocks opening interesting could be a commitment that is currently in uh You know, feeling some sort of uncertainty in a commitment. Or somebody is uncertain about committing. Yeah. Perhaps because there is some form of opening. Sweet honey. <laughs> there are some... Uh, feels like there is uh, another energy here. Apart from just you and the other person. Let's see. Let's get you seven cards for the tarot. Pisces in love, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter in love. All right, Pisces, let's get on with this. Let's pick, oops. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, and let's get from here seven okay all right at the bottom of the deck what do we have the five of cups hmm so the eight of pentacles the wheel of fortune the Knight of Wands, the Hierophant, the Seven of Swords, the King of Wands, and the Ten of Swords. The tie the knot on the rocks can, can reflect this Ten of Swords. Yes. Um, 
for some of you I am getting that there's possibly a detachment here or some form of frustration um, whereby this is this is for for those of you where you felt neglected by by the person that you're thinking about they may not even you know they're not putting attention towards you and somehow you feel rejected yeah you feel like you're not a priority you feel like this person is not interested you feel like whatever you have started off that would appear to be like a commitment or you know if you were heading towards some sort of commitment with this person or if you're starting to get to know each other and, and things are moving pretty good um, before getting to the finish line it seems like things has become rocky right and ultimately it has brought some sort of ending it could be an ending to communication ending to um, the con some form of consistency that one person brings onto the table so it could be consistent messaging consistently checking on you but for some reason that's been stopped yeah now the person that you have in mind you know what I feel like this person is um, hmm. I'm getting that this person is is pretty busy with their work. <laughs> I couldn't say it any other way. It's, somebody here is very occupied with a project, um, with, I don't know, whatever they're doing. They could be, I don't know, could be a dog walker. So they're very busy with the usual, the standard way or the standard things that they do on a day-to-day basis. It's not really... Um, yeah, it's a standard way, I feel. Maybe their own routine. They have um, filled up their own routine as much as possible at the start of the year. That could be it. And somehow their focus is just on that. And, 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 and possibly because whatever they're doing, it is attached to some form of accomplishment. Yeah, Once they accomplish something, they get some money in return. So there is that sort of um, reward that they're getting and I feel like the reward is based on is, is mostly financial or anything that's tangible yeah I feel it could be a reward money additional money additional savings that they need in their life so it's more like this person is head down right now looking and doing things yeah at first I thought it could be a, another person that they're trying to open up to but no that's not what I'm seeing. Honestly, I don't even see like a third party situation here. Um, what I'm seeing though is in terms of their feelings towards you, you may or may not know it, Pisces, but this person wants commitment. Yeah, They want something real in a situation. They want a connection where they can grow, where they can... Um, be more relevant into your life and um in the same time both of you are teaching one another yeah as you go through life which is or learning from one another as you go through life so basically you have someone here who doesn't want um, any shallow type of relationship or, or connection yeah i feel like they can also be this person could also appear a bit stubborn I don't see more of egotistic type of uh, personality, but more of a person who can just be uh, hardly attached, you know, or, or strongly attached to their own beliefs. Yeah, so if it is a relationship, if this person believe that, you know, they have to chase a person to get them, this person will continue to do that, you know. Um, if this person feels like if a person, if a woman, for instance, is chasing a man and they feel like, oh, that shouldn't be a case for a woman, a woman should not chase a man, then if you do that to this person, they would feel icky, you know. So there is some sort of traditional belief that this person is um, really, that this person's values are really uh, built on, yeah, that no matter what, Pisces, no matter what you say, no matter what you do, um, they have this strong belief and they feel like 
that's probably the right case because that's probably the right thing that they have to do or they have to believe. Strong beliefs in something could lead to this person appearing to be uh, stubborn to some others, yeah? On your end, uh, I mean, in that sense, like I said, if they, if I feel like this person wants commitment, but it is something that they want to do on their own. So I'm, I'm getting that this is someone who wants to, like, achieve or make a commitment as, as a form of success for them. If you chase this person, I don't think they're going to be interested. Yeah, it could fall into the Ten of Swords. Yeah, could fall into the Ten of Swords. This person needs to take the action, regardless of gender, yeah? It sounds uh, masculine, right? So, But this is a masculine energy. This is someone who has a very strong masculine energy, regardless of, of the gender. This could be a female, but with very strong masculine energy. They want to put in the effort, yeah, of something that is of value to them. Yeah, something that is of value to them. If you were showing a lot of um, availability to this person or showing them that you are wanting commitment, you want them in your life and you know you, you profess everything to this person right then and there, that may have caused the shakeup. Yeah. That may have caused the shakeup. Okay. So with this sweet honey, I am getting that um Regardless of their, I mean, with their current feelings towards you, like, you know, they still want commitment, but they want to do it their own way. That means you cannot rush this person out. I feel like this person, even if they appear stubborn, there is that uh, sweetness in them, the charm, the, um, there is the charm. It could be a fire sign for, for some of you. It could be a fire sign, um, fire or air. Uh, but I'm getting that this person knows that you have a lot in your plate too, yeah. Um, and perhaps the first time you you connected with them, they may feel like you only wanted to be friends or be casual or just have fun in the moment, you know, without really setting some grounds or without really building some form of grounds or some form of, of a foundation between two people. Yeah. Although you may have said that you want commitment, although you may have, um, or for some of you, you didn't even possibly say it out loud, but it feels like this person feels that you are more, uh, not flighty Pisces, but more of, um, casual. You're looking for something casual. Uh, because a lot of things are happening in your life. You could have a lot of options right now. and um, But nevertheless, this person wants commitment. And I feel like they want commitment with you. For some of you, I am getting that if this person has a current commitment right now. yeah, Currently, it is on the rocks. Why? Because the moment this person has met you. Yeah, even if it was just a casual encounter, you know, nothing is said, nothing is built, nothing is really done to the max. I feel like this person has been very much attracted to you. Yeah, so they could be leaving uh, their current connection. It's very strong here, uh, Seven of Swords and the Ten of Swords. They could be leaving their current situation right now to move towards you. That's what I'm getting. Yeah. Your sweetness, your approach is really getting into this person. <laughs> yeah, you gave this person a little bit of opening. Yeah, or there was an opening in, in their situation. Yeah. So for some of you, this is a person who is already committed with someone. Yeah. And now they are learning or they're wanting to do the traditional thing. Perhaps they don't want uh, concurrent connections. They might, this is a person who is a. Uh, uh, monogamous kind of a person where they want to connect with someone one-on-one -on -one, yeah so instead of keeping you as an option they would they would um, let go of the other party of their current party which is already on the rocks before they can move towards you okay which is good so let's see your advice happiness Trust, 
Okay, trust the situation. I feel like that's the best one. And adventures. Pleasure. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Don't you want that? So you have happiness, trust, and adventure. So what's yet to come is something that would truly make you happy. This situation right here, even if you feel like you're not talking right now, you're not, uh, you feel neglected or rejected or you're not being, uh, this person is not communicating with you, trust the situation, yeah, that at the end, this will make you happy, yeah, and um, look forward for new adventures. I feel like there will be new things that this person will be bringing into your life. Yeah, it could be that both of you will start traveling together, going to the what what watch waterfalls, see, uh, go to the nature, hiking, and all that. Um, and I feel like it could also include some spiciness, pleasure. Of course, can be emotional pleasure and all, but this is striking to me as with the King of Wands here. This is striking to me as this person would want to be more closer to you physic physically as well. Okay, hope that makes sense. <laughs> Let's see additional message for Pisces. Surrender to wonder and awe. Open to the magic of every moment and sense the awe and wonder in all of life. This attitude will keep you connected to the ecstasy of flow, which is really good. This message, surrender to the wonder and awe, is more about trust and adventures so whatever comes your way be open to it yeah be in awe yeah rather than controlling the situation or really wanting uh, something to happen right then right now even if it's not happening so that's you controlling the effect right um, but here the main message for you is surrender to come you know to what's gonna come yeah come what may that sort of thing yeah and just trust that at the end of it all, happiness is, is in your direction, yeah, or in, on your path. I'm going to leave it at that, sweet honey. <laughs> I'm going to leave it at that. Let me know if this resonates in the comments. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And also, Pisces, if you're feeling lucky, feeling happy, then go get a copy of the Nomad Soul Warrior Tarot Limited Edition. The link is in the description box, yeah. Once you have this and um, you have the book, you read through it, um, you could very well do your own readings as well. Yeah, hopefully this year we could have more groups or more readings. You can follow me in Instagram. I'll, I'll be, I'm planning to have my, like some more readings or reading guidance in there as well. So follow me at Nomad Soul Warrior. Bye Pisces.